Hey everyone, welcome to one of our Bob's Watches tutorial videos. Today we're going over how to set your Rolex Explorer 2. Launched in 1971 as a new model within the Greater Explorer collection, the Rolex Explorer 2 is a watch specifically designed for spelunkers and arctic adventurers who spend extended periods of time working in environments that do not receive any daylight. In addition to the standard three hands that display the hours, minutes, and seconds, Explorer 2 watches also feature additional 24-hour hands, fixed bezels with 24-hour scales, and date displays located at 3 o'clock. It's important to note that while all Explorer 2 watches have the same core features, their capabilities and operating instructions have slightly changed throughout the years. For example, if you have a vintage Explorer 2 reference 1655, its two hour hands are linked, meaning that its 24 hour hand is essentially just an AM PM indicator. On subsequent references, the two hour hands are independently adjustable, meaning that these Explorer 2 models can display two different time zones and function as GMT watches. Other than having additional 24-hour hands, Rolex Explorer 2 watches function very similarly to any other date-displaying wristwatches, and they largely follow the same overall setting instructions. To set your Rolex Explorer 2, simply unscrew the winding crown and pull it out to the first notch. Unless you have a vintage reference 1655, rotating the crown in this first position will jump the 12-hour hand either backwards or forwards in 1-hour increments. Rotate the crown to move the 12-hour hand in the appropriate direction until the correct value appears inside the date window. During this stage, it's important to remember that the date display will only change every second time that the hour hand passes the 12 o'clock marker, as the other time represents noon rather than midnight. To set the time on your Rolex Explorer 2, pull the winding crown out to the second notch until you feel a faint click and the seconds hand comes to a complete stop. Before you set the actual time, it's important to first make sure that the two hour hands are synchronized. To do this, rotate the crown until the 24 hour hand is pointing at the 12 o'clock marker. If the 12 hour hand is not also pointing at the 12 o'clock marker, repeat the previous step to align the two hour hands. Now, turn the crown in either direction until the correct time is displayed by the watch. During this stage, it's important to take note of whether your Explorer 2 is displaying AM or PM hours. The easiest way to do this is just look at your watch's 24 hour hand. If it's on the right side of the dial, it's AM, and if it's on the left, it's PM. At this point, both hour hands will be displaying the same time with the 24 hour hand simply presenting it in a 24 hour format. However, if you want to use your Explorer 2 as a GMT watch, simply set your 24 hour hand to your secondary time zone, and then adjust the 12 hour hand either forwards or backwards the appropriate number of hours until it displays the time in your current location. You can then read your local time by using the standard 12 hour hand and the indexes on the dial, while your time in your secondary location is indicated by the 24 hour hand's position against the corresponding scale on your watch's bezel. Originally designed for cave explorers operating in total darkness, but now enjoyed by countless individuals all over the world as a rugged and highly capable travel watch, the Explorer 2 is a cult favorite and often considered to be one of the most purpose-built Rolex models of all time. For more information on the Rolex Explorer 2, be sure to check out our website, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on our latest video content.